In this video, we're going to look at sketching functions that are a product of two other functions. An example here is the function x sine x. So to sketch this function, we're going to look at the functions f of x equals x and f of x equals sine x separately, and then try to put them together. Here's a sketch of sine x. Sine x goes between plus 1 and minus 1. The values of that function are always between plus 1 and minus 1. So when we multiply it by x, the values of the function will always be between plus x and minus x. So when we sketch the function, it will always be here or here. To sketch the function, first of all, let's see if it has any symmetries. So we'll look at f of minus x. And f of minus x is minus x times sine of minus x. Now sine of minus x is minus sine of x. So when we multiply those two together, we get x times sine of x, which is just f of x. And because f of minus x equals f of x, the function f of x is even. So let's write that down. Because sine of x is 0 whenever x is an integer multiple of pi, the function f of x is also 0. Before I sketch the graph, there's one more detail I want to look at, and that's what happens when x is small. And in order to look at what happens when x is small, we're going to use the Taylor series for sine of x about x equals 0. This is also known as the Maclaurin series for sine of x. When x is small, f of x is roughly x times x, because x is the first term in that Taylor series for sine x. And that's just x squared. So now we're in a position to sketch that function. We know that f of x is even. We know that it's 0 when x is an integer multiple of pi. We know that it lies between plus x and minus x. And we know that near the origin, when x is small, f of x is roughly x squared. So here's x squared. I need a curve that looks like x squared when x is small and goes through 0 when x is an integer multiple of pi. So there's my sketch of the function f of x equals x times sine of x. Here's a similar example, the function f of x equals 1 over x times sine x. Again, we start with a graph of sine of x, which lies between plus 1 and minus 1. And because sine of x lies between plus 1 and minus 1, the function f of x lies between plus 1 over x and minus 1 over x. So our sketch of the function will always lie in this region here between the blue and the red curves. Let's start by looking at any symmetries the function f of x might have. If we look at f of minus x, that's 1 over minus x times sine of minus x. And again, we know that sine of minus x is minus sine of x. So this is simply sine of x divided by x, which is f of x. So f of minus x equals f of x, and the function is even. So let's write that down again. Now again, sine of x is 0 when x is an integer multiple of pi. So that means that f of x equals 0 when x is an integer multiple of pi. 
But this function is a little bit more subtle than the last one because it's undefined when x equals 0. If we look at x equals 0, we've got sine of 0, which is 0, divided by 0, and that doesn't make sense. So we have to disallow n equal to 0 because the function is not defined when x equals 0. Now, even though it's not defined at x equals 0, it is defined for x near 0, and we can again use the Taylor series for sine of x to look at what happens to the function near x equals 0. This time, if we use the Taylor series for sine of x near x equals 0, we have the Taylor series is x minus 1 sixth x cubed, and so on, divided by x, and that's equal to 1 minus 1 sixth of x squared. So when x is small, the function is roughly 1 minus 1 sixth of x squared. So we can draw that part of the curve in here. So in summary, we have a function that's even, that is 0 when x is an integer multiple of pi except at x equals 0, and near x equals 0 looks like 1 minus 1 sixth of x squared. So now we're in a position to sketch that function. And that's our sketch of the function f of x equals 1 over x sine x. So in this video, we've seen two examples of sketching a function that's a product of two other functions. So now, why don't you try sketching these functions? You can check your sketches with a computer or a calculator.